by your princess Ilka. Sweet Princess Silka and intelligent, yes I am. So what happened after the Kina guy? I moved to a shitty apartment <laughs> in Via de Cortes. It was it, it was La Azotea. Yeah, they transformed La Azotea, they put Azulejos in La Azotea and that is the roof where the maids live. They put Azulejos tiles and made a little apartment there and that's where I lived with a lavadero like the maids have little wash wash thing there in my on the terrace terrace now it was not a patio it was a terrace because it had tiles no I literally washed my clothes there like the maid and it was so insecure that I was assaulted and my stuff was stolen But I was grateful because I had sunshine. They can you believe me? It was cold. It was ice cold that place. I don't know. Maybe I was ice cold. Everything was ice cold. And that did not last it long because then I, I lost my job at Siemens. So I couldn't afford it, I had to move out. And then I got the Ephraim apartment. Yeah, one might say it's in a safe complex, but it's just stuff. And it was loud because it was between two main roads. And it had carpet, but it was disgusting carpet, ugly carpet. I don't even know how to describe it. Oh no, one room was stuffed with the furniture. But I got it cheap, I don't mind. I, didn't, I did not need it, that room. It was transitory. Everything was just transitory. And that didn't last it much long. And then I moved in with Julia. Because I did not have enough money. And it was jobless, so I was just in between. So I moved in with her. She had a room. Yeah, that was a nice neighborhood. Okay, neighborhood. But, well, I was limited. And then I found a place with Sonia Ophelia, five years, and that had a view, you're right, Observatorio, you have no idea, over the bus station, the windows are slim. Yeah, polluted, the entire city is polluted. Ugly came to visit me once, there, with Walter, Helga, my stepmother, and she said, das ist eine Zumutung, to live here. That is an attack on human decency to live in a place like this. That's what she said. Yet again, I was grateful, mainly because it was cheap. Because again, when I had to go to the restroom, I had to walk through the shower. Your little handyman, man, told your failure husband, they made something up there. They needed money, they split their house in, I don't know, how many parts, put a wall there and named it apartment. I literally had to walk through the shower and then by the sink to reach my toilet. I did not have an integral kitchen, integral nothing. I didn't even have a stove. Just a sink. I had to provide everything myself. And when I finally did it nice, she asked, asked for the apartment back. But that was five years old. So. I was grateful that she brought me from time to time quesadillas. I think she wanted to give me moral support. Yeah, food, but quesadillas is 
just, you know, tease and sort of But that was nice of her. Because I was lonely. So then I moved to France. And after France, I moved to Cuernavaca. And you, you might say the foundation, that was like a large house, but depending on from which angle. I'd say it's just a regular one with large windows. Honestly, the whole thing was shitty, but it had a garden. But I could not possibly say it's shitty because I have been living in wars. I have been li living in garbage, man. In Mexico, nothing works well. Nothing functions properly. Nothing. Including houses, doors, drawers, everything. Windows, it's all so wrong. On and on, I can name them. But I was in nature and it was warm and I was so grateful. And I had a tiny shower. Yeah, I don't need more for myself. But the shower was next to a window, a tiny, tiny window. So when I shower, I, op I had the window open all the time. I could look at the garden and it was warm and I was so grateful. So grateful. But you guys, I am German. Once I went to somewhere between Acapulco and Batulco, a tiny little spot, like a tiny town. I went with Almut Aureliano and their Dutch girlfriend. Yeah, I was a mature woman from Holland. I went camping and there was nothing. I mean, you ate lupas, which is awesome. It's just tortilla and, you know, a <laughs> little bit of beans and a bit of sprinkled white cheese on top. It doesn't matter, it's fresh, it's handmade. And to shower outdoors. And I'm from Germany, you guys. I am grateful, my people. I am grateful to shower outdoors. Because it's warm. That's how I am, my nature. On the boulevard I landed We used to kick routines And the presence was fitting It was I, the abstract And me the five footer I kicks the mad style So step off the frankfurter Yo Fife, you remember that routine That we used to make spiffy Like Mr. Clean Um, um, a tidbit Um, a smidgen I don't get the message So you got to <laughs> okay. run the pigeon You're on point Fife All the time tip You're on point Fife All the time tip You're on point Fife All the time tip But then grab the microphone And let your words rip Now here's a funky introduction of how nice I am Tell your mother, tell your father, send a telegram I'm like an energizer cause you see I last long My crew is never ever whack because we stand strong Now if you say my style is whack, it's where you're dead wrong I say that body and El Segundo, then push it along You'll be a fool to reply the fight was not the man Cause you know and I know that you know who I am A special shout out piece goes out to all my pals you see And a middle finger goes for all you punk MCs Cause I love it when you whack MCs despise me They get vexed, I will next, cause none can 